Hey, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. And I'm Professor Meg. And today we are playing through a Song of Ice and Fire Tactics from Simon Games. Yes. This is over on GameFound. We'll have a link to everything down below. Battle we'll have for the Trident? What's Battle for the Trident? Oh, I think it is. I think you're right. Battle of the Trident. Of the Trident. Battle of the Trident. You're right. I think I've said Battle for the Trident every time. Yeah. <laughs> Battle of the Trident. Uh, this is going to be one of, well, I guess, stuff. They're going to have a variety of things in the Song of Ice and Fire Tactics line. Uh, we will have a link to the crowdfunding campaign down below over on GameFound. They have a bunch of things. They do have a follow gift, I believe. Uh, they also have a giant dragon miniature that is worth checking out. You do not need it, but it's very cool. They also have a preview from a very special lady. They do have a preview from a very special lady over mm -hmm, on the page mm -hmm. as well. And speaking of which, this is a sponsored gameplay. Uh, this is sponsored by Simon, and we'll be going through an intro campaign, specifically the scenario run Radical Measures. Mm -hmm. Now, we will go through a bunch of the overviews how to play. We'll talk you through things as we go. We'll give you a list of our abilities as we start activating our characters. Uh, but the basic idea is, in this game, across six rounds of play, and that is scenario dependent, across six rounds of play, we'll be trying to activate our various miniatures to gather victory points. You're going to get victory points from a few different things. You're going to get victory points from controlling objectives, from having the most captured people at the end of each round, you can capture or kill. Mm -hmm. Capturing means you can get victory points, but killing them means they don't come back when you die. You're also going to have agenda cards. We've drawn two and picked one of these secret agenda cards that you will reveal to score victory points when relevant. Could be mid-game, could be end-game. I believe they always score two victory points for a specific thing, but I could be wrong with that. Uh, wrong. I'm wrong? No, they're all, they're all. Are they not all two? I don't think so. I thought they're all two. Most of them are two victory points. Except for the one Meg has, which I don't know what it is because I don't know who it is. I think it depends. It depends, it depends. It's all the variable. Uh, past that, you're also going to have your own, I believe, are these objective cards or agenda cards? I there think are objective. motives. Motives. They have motives over here. These motives are going it's to be based why we're on... It's we're here. Yeah, it's these, what we're doing. These are going to be based on the hero you chose, and they give you a way to spend gold, which we'll talk about shortly, to gain victory points. And if you die, you can still do something, just not exactly the same thing, and at least in my case... I won't be able to do anything if I die because I don't have three coins to spend. Speaking of which, assembling of our armies. We are skipping a bunch of the pre-setup stuff just because we, we, we want to skip that, get right to the action for you. But there are a bunch of things you're going to do. We're playing a small game, which means we have two gold, four silver, and 12 copper to spend on constructing our army. That's going to be what the little costs over here are visible in the corner. Mm -hmm. They're also going to determine the equipment you can gather because you have copper. You can spend an equipment for your characters, which we've done. We'll walk you through all that. We've built our armies. We then went ahead and chose our um, uh, deployment zones over here, as well as who goes first over there. And in this corner, we have the Baratheons trying their best to overthrow the current ruling family without a real good reason. I will and say. on this side, we have the Targaryens trying to keep the peace, defend their father's honor, and basically do the correct just thing. All reasonable points, but I do have Eddard Stark on my team, which means you yeah. already know who you're vo yeah. rooting for. Granted, I you do got justice on your side, but I, debatable reasons it's for debatable why reasons. we're fighting. Robert Baratheon's here as well, so if you don't like that kind of guy, maybe, maybe not, maybe not. But Eddard Stark, I guess, I guess we know he survives at least this battle. Anyways, past that, let's go ahead and dive. And I guess if anyone gets, gets knocked out, they're knocked out. They're not dead because there's lore. There's things Spoilers going for on. Game of Thrones. Either that or alternative uh, <laughs> histories. One or the other. Anyways, with that, uh, do you want to go ahead and start this off? Sure. Okay. So, uh, do you want to go first, a second? Do or roll, roll for it? We can roll for it. There is a process where one person chooses the deployment zone, one person chooses and goes first. But again, wait, we're wait, skipping no. that to uh, get you. We don't mind. Oh, I rolled a nine. I rolled, rolled a, a ten. ten. But I'm it is going a zero. first. It's a ten. You know that. I mean, it does say zero. I can reference your own preview if you want. <laughs> Past that, we're going to go ahead and I will start off. I will go first. So the way a turn works is you're going to be spending your coins. Those coins you spent to build your army are also things you're going to spend doing the game. The difference is your gold and your silver will not come back to you. Once you spend that two gold and four silver, it is gone. Mm -hmm. Period. Mm -hmm. Finite. It's over. Gone. Uh, your copper comes back to you every single round, so we have 12 copper to activate our turns effectively. That copper is going to be used to use one copper per person you activate, which means I have a unit of uh, army of five, so I'm going to be spending five copper just to activate my units, although you can spend on other things instead. But you also spend your copper and your silver on various abilities. Uh, we'll walk you through the abilities of the characters as we use them for the first time, so everyone, yourself, and our opponents are fully informed as we dive into this. But with that in mind, I think I'm going to start... Do I, t do I tell them what I'm planning on doing, or is that too much information for That's you? That's up to you. Should I hmm. earmuffs? Earmuffs, <laughs> earmuffs. No, well, we'll be fine. I'll, maybe I'll just do stuff and see how it plays mm. out. But currently, I think I'm going to go ahead and activate uh, Roos Bolton, who's kind of an okay guy. I like him. He's fine. I think we're going to go ahead and do a 
double movement, perhaps. Let's see. Let's see how this plays out. Bruce Bolton is not an okay guy at all. <laughs> he's he's a terrible person. Yeah. He's a terrible guy. Yeah. yeah I yeah. I know where Bruce Bolton is. We yeah. We're gonna go ahead and activate, and I'm gonna spend a three, I believe, to go ahead and uh, just charge the swamp. So effectively, when you do a move action, you can move three. Diagonals are allowed. Uh, in water, you get negative one movement. So it's gonna be one and then two, and we'll have to stop because of the water limitation. And then we're gonna go ahead and go again. I'm gonna activate, and I'm gonna go. Ooh, I could chew a charge. I could do a charge. I think I'm going to do a charge over here. So a charge action mm -hmm. effectively lets you interact with uh, various terrain elements in a different way. So I'm going to do a charge, which is one, two, and then I'm going to interact with this door. Yes, that angle is allowed. The door can be interacted with these six spots around the door. So I'm going to try to smash the door in a single charge. So I'm moving and charging. I believe the door is going to be two dice on a seven plus. Uh, open wooden door. Oh no, wooden door. Two days, oh, seven plus. I lied. I'm not going to do that though. I'm just going to move because I forgot. <laughs> I forgot a charge requires spending two actions, one for the attack and one for the movement. Oh, I always true. spent one, so I can't. True. I can't. Good thing I caught myself. Before Could you, you have did. moved differently? Uh, no, the movement wouldn't change. Okay. I'm still going to just move effectively four. I'm going to go sure. ahead and end up over here, and then I'm going to be trying to get into here uh, next turn. That's my first activation. Okay, so let's see if we I can. will spend a coin on my person to indicate that he activated, and that's a plain and simple turn. We have stats on your characters. I'll walk you through those over here. I'll walk you through the. In fact, let's go through the full characters every time we activate them. He has seven for when he resolves a morale check or any game element that has him resolving that. He has five defense and two health. When he takes two wounds, he dies effectively. His attack action is going to be. A uh, two dice and a five plus intimidating strikes. It costs one of my two action points, and I can spend one copper to gain one plus to this roll. And aftermath, I can spend two copper. The defender performs a check test on a failure, they become staggered or dazed. I believe dazed. A uh, fear keeps a man alive is the other action over here. Uh, that's going to be one. I can spend one silver. If Roos killed an enemy model this turn, each enemy model in short range must perform a test on a failure. They become, again, I can't remember, I think rallied or dazed or whatever it is. They lose an action point effectively. That's going to cost a silver, which is a limited resource. So if he kills people around your models, he can make all of you a little intimidated. It's called Fear Keeps Man Alive. That's the ability. It's a good ability. He That's my turn. To you. All right. I think I might just start off with Rhaegar right away. Rhaegar. Um, so, let's see. With the water, I really can, I can't even get to there, can yeah, I? Yeah, I believe so. It's worth noting at this point that this is prototype rules, all things, I should have said at the beginning, all things, prototypes, rules, components, subjects, change, but also we are working with prototype rules. There are some small things that did require some degree of interpretation. So for example, water, I believe it's across the whole action, but if you partially start in water, partially not, there are some things we are assuming based on the rules and aren't perfectly complete. Mm. So if you do catch things, by all means, let them da let them uh, listen down below or any corrections will pin as well. All right. Well, then I guess it's best to run toward you too. I don't know. I want to run this way. Run towards the run towards objective. Get the objective. I know, but I'm, it's going to take me a movement, a movement just to do that. Yeah. Or no, I could get to here with that, right? I could uh, get no. here with one, one two. and then one, two, three. It if I be, move twice. Because of this is water, it's going to have the negative one penalty. So it's going to be one, two, and then one, two, three. You wouldn't be able to get on an objective from there. Oh, no, no, no. I was thinking I could only get to there. Oh, and in two movements or one? In two. In two, you can go one, two, and then one, two, no, whatever. No, because it costs... It's three movement by default, so you get one less on water. So I get one, two, and I have to stop there, no, right? No, I was assuming one... I was to assuming... the water and that's it? I was assuming a full one per your action. Since each spot is negative one, I was assuming the full movement of three is penalized by one. Okay, I'm fine with that. Because it can't be each movement because then it would be zero. Right. So yeah. I'm activating Rhaegar, who is our dragon prince. He is mm. the bravest, blondest boy there is. And now I'll move again. So do I have to take two to move out of water? No. Um, so again, I could go yep. one, two, three? Yep. You would have to go ahead and roll yep. for the spike. All right. So let me... I move so twice. these are spikes over here. When you cross a spike, whenever you cross things on an angle, you have to choose... That's a I'm success. Fine. So he's rolling against his attribute of six. He took one hit from the spikes. And again, this goes back to the rules thing. Sometimes in games, you only use your defense attribute in actual combat. The strict wording of the rules here is spikes give you a hit and your defense resolves hits. So we think you take your mm -hmm. armor roll, but effectively, um, yeah, you're going to cross that, that the, the spike over there. You rolled your armor roll, you saved it, and you negated that one wound. Uh, to go over on the things that Rhaegar has, he has three health, which is very good. Um, and my defense is a six plus. He is the dragon prince and he attacks with two dice and his successes are on a three plus, which is only one action point. And I can spend three copper coins so that the defender becomes dazed. Yeah. 
Um, and then the aftermath is I can spend a silver coin, and if the attack dealt any damage, I can capture them. As long as it's a hero or champion. Yeah, that's pretty uh, decent uh, 3 plus over there. Yeah. Decent 3 plus. Strong boy. Alright, back to myself. I'll go ahead and spend a copper and... I already activated him. I want to kind of try to get other stuff done. I can't. So the way these work over here, we haven't really fully gone through the train elements, but this over here is something you can't enter or see through. The X means you can't see through, and the Y means you can't enter. Versus the stump, you can't enter, but you can see through. And this you can see through, can enter. I don't believe there is a uh, can, can't see through and can enter on the board currently, but they do have things like that. I believe on the other side, for example, this over here would be something you can't see through, but you can enter, mm -hmm. but we don't have that in play right now. In any case, so I'm going to go ahead and spend, do I want Robert Brown? Interesting scenario, so I'm sure that's part of it, to yeah. not overwhelm you with too many types of terrain. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, I might use my Stag Knight. My Stag Knight, I don't want him carding off into the distance. I really should try to close the distance to you over there. But that means trying to go ahead. I don't like this this angle into here. I don't like. I might try to just sweep in across the board. Maybe. I don't know. It's a mm. interesting decision as far as how I want to try to well, get everything done. Because if I move off to the side, do I have anyone else who can help me move further? I don't believe so. I don't believe there's any additional movement right now. So in that case, uh, we're going to go ahead and um, I think we'll, we'll go. Six rounds of play. Okay, six rounds of play. All right, we're going to go ahead and go. We're going to activate... Um, the Stag Knight over here, and the Stag Knight is going to go um, one, two, three, because they're going to avoid the water, and you can always choose any side when you do that. And then from there, they're going to go one, two for their second movement. They're going to end over there. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We are once again just trying to uh, get stuff done. To you. All right. I am going to activate a very young Barrist and sell me. I feel this first round is going to be very low on combat, but we'll see yeah, how Yeah, I mean, changes. I'm sure that's how setup rounds go. All right, I can move through friendly, Absolutely. but I don't think I want to. Yep. I'm gonna go one, two, and then just do another move. Mm -hmm. And so I can move three now that I'm in the water. Is that what you're saying? I believe no. I would say whenever you're moving, whenever your movement okay. involves water. So I can move two. Yep. All right. So I'll go one, two, and that is Barristan's turn. Okay. Perfect. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, this is Briston Selmy. He is almost as strong as Rhaegar, but his defense is a little bit lower. But he has quite a few attacks. So he has a Quick Lash, which is two dice on a four plus are successes. He also has a Vicious Blow, which is three dice on, on six pluses are successes. Uh, and I also have an Aftermath Expert Repost that I can uh, also hurt if I get hurt. And what does his Valerian Steel do? Oh, and I also have the Valerian Steel equipment on him, which I believe is just one extra damage always. I believe it is. Plus, Plus one, one to hit. attack rolls on yep. all attack modes. Now, equipment has to go on specific type of characters. That little icon over there means it does go on that the because character. Because he is a champion. Yes, basically. Speaking of which, I didn't, act, I didn't talk about my Stag Knight. My Stag Knight that I just moved over there. Is a uh, soldier. He's going to be a soldier, and he rolls two dice on a six plus. My heirloom weapon is also going to go plus one, so it's two dice on a five plus. And if I spend four money, the four copper, then each successfully, uh, each successfully blocked hit must be blocked a second time. Mm. So when I hit you, I hit you hard. Interesting. Okay. That is going to be that, which means I believe it's to my turn. To my turn, uh, let's go ahead and see what we're doing. I really, I feel like the coins are not going to be spent this round. It's all it's all attack actions, and there's not a lot of attack actions to play off, because you're, even with you closing the gap, there's still too much distance. I can close the distance. Boom, 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 boom. It's going to be a very, it's gonna be a very simple first round. Okay, we're going to go ahead and have, have a, uh, let's go ahead and have uh, De Dennis, Dennis Aaron over here, the darling of the veil, go ahead and move and... I think we're just going to sweep around. No, you know what? Actually, we're going to have Eddard Stark move because I want to keep Dennis nice. flexible. Eddard Stark is going to go ahead and move. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and go one, two, and then one, two. Just prepping Ooh. for a uh, encounter over there. That's going to be my turn. To you. All right. Uh, then Eddard Stark over here is going to be doing Castle Forge Steel, which gives him plus one defense uh, against rolls, which like I said, trying to keep him alive. So he's going to have a five defense instead of a six defense, and he has a two dice, four damage attack, four plus attack, where I could spend three, and when charging, the defender becomes dazed, and aftermath, I could spend a silver. If this attack dealt any damage, one other engaged enemy suffers a damage, and Stark Fury is going to be two, uh, a two car copper, gain plus two to this roll, then the model suffers a hit. So I can basically spend a little money, and um, yeah, I can suffer a hit to get a plus two, which is great if I don't want to die, if I do want to die. Two. All right. I am going to activate Lewin Martel of House Martel. Um, and he has a six plus defense. He has a full four health. That's a lot. He's a chunky. You have a few people at four health. Yeah, 
full four. I don't have any of that. Um, he is the Targaryen King's Guard, and he has an attack that for two dice on a seven plus, it's honor and duty for one action point. Um, and I basically get extra dice to the roll, uh, but it doesn't really do too much after that besides suffering extra damage. Okay. All right, so let's move this daddy. One, two. Yep. Hmm. Actually, if I have to take damage from the trap regardless getting in, if I yep. land here on the trap, you, I only take the damage once. Yep, when you land on it. And then I can move in? Yep. All right, so yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Lewin. We're gonna go one, two, three. Well, the game is pretty the specific here. This one is uh. All I need. What are you rolling against? You, you gotta go seven plus? Six plus. Six plus. That's I got a five, so he took the damage. Poor baby, but he has the four health guy, so. Yeah, yeah that's not. not he's, a lot. he's doing okay. Okay. All right. Okay. To me, I'm gonna go ahead and continue activating. Um, I can activate Dennis Aaron, or I can activate Robert Baratheon. I think Robert Baratheon is going to go ahead and charge this way. So we're going to go ahead, ahead go ahead and go 1, 2. And then again, we could just do 1, 2. I don't think it's going to be any large shift to go and go 1, 2 over here. That's going to be Robert Baratheon's turn. And I think that's uh, pretty done. There's not, not a lot of interesting things happening this first round. Mm. We do have six rounds, though. So the next five are going to be uh, riveting. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. I am now going to move Miles Mooton. Um... And that is this one. And let's try the dry route for him. So we'll go one, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. So I have to decide whether you're taking on the stag or <laughs> whether I'm being defensive or how to operate. Right. Okay. I like how you have six people to my five and your people are stronger or healthier. Not stronger, healthier. All you right. built your army. I'm gonna go ahead and activate Dennis Aaron. We're gonna go this way, I think. Did because... you go over that? How we built the army? Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, I yeah, talked, yeah, sorry, about, sorry. talked about. I'm so in strategy now. I've forgotten mm -hmm. how we got here. Everything else. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go. <laughs> I don't want one, you to kill my people. Two, and this is again. This is an example where I'm not sure the negative one movement and how it operates. Mm -hmm. It might be just negative one movement to enter water. That might make sense, honestly, depending on how it's done. But again, I'm gonna go one, two over here. I think can I go? Hmm, start over here. I guess that makes the most sense. Yeah, tough. one, two, and then one, two. That way I'm only doing it once. Okay, there we go. All right. That's my uh, situation. And you've moved everybody? I have moved everyone. All right. I'm going to move next my royal, sheer, royal shield bearer. Um, and these are my soldiers, so they're a little bit more expendable. They both have two health, and uh, they do a bit less, but they're here for the ride. So this will cost me about one, two, and then one, two. Okay. And then I will activate my last one, which I feel like should go this way. Listen but to you. it's kind of bottlenecking mm -hmm. anyway. You yeah. got three people that way, which means I could kill more faster. Come on right down. Come, 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 come on. Welcome. Who are they? Uh, this is going to be over here. We have Bruce Bolton, who's a very okay. nice individual. Okay. Okay. He's going to be a seven-five-two with some nice attack abilities. And then we have over here we have uh, Dennis Aaron as well, who's going to be a seven-six-three with again some nice attack abilities. His daring strike has him rolling extra dice against you. All right, I will have my Targaryen honor guard go one, two, okay, and then one, two, three. Mm, I was hoping I'd just get these uncontested, but you know, it is what it is. I got more people than you. <laughs> All right, that's gonna be the end of round one. End of round one. No one is currently on any objectives, so no one scores objective I'm points. I'm so close. I'm touching them. No one currently has any captured people. In general, when you kill someone, you can choose to capture them. You take a captured marker, put it on your person. The downside is if your person who captured them dies. And that person come back to life with one health, which doesn't sound like a lot, but I mean, these characters have between three, two to four health anyway, so one health is a lot. Uh, but that's right now immaterial, so no one has that, which means we go to the next round, we move this round marker up, and we can go ahead and continue with the next round. And with that, you're going to become first player for the next round, which means it is time to clear our coins. Uh, your coins do come back to you as income, which that first round feels a little weak because we had so many coins and didn't spend them all. But in future rounds, I believe uh, this round going forward, it'll become very relevant. To you first. Make that first move. Hit that first blow. I know. Take your turn. Oh, it's worth noting. Let's talk about the cover of these. So we have two objective cards in play. We have Adrenaline Rush for this token. And we have Determination for this one. Adrenaline Rush, when you're on it, you can spend three coins to gain an extra action point this turn. And the Determination, you can spend two action points, so basically your entire turn, and spend four copper, perform a test with negative two to this roll on a success, score one victory point. So it uh, gives you your whole turn, but hey, if you're sitting there doing nothing, just just mm -hmm. practice that morale mm -hmm. boosting. All right, Alex, I'm going to attempt in a very aggressive move. 
<laughs> and we're going to see if it works. We'll see. It's we'll going to be see. very aggressive. I am going to activate Rhaegar. Okay. And I'm going to have him move. Go ahead. Do I get get, get stuck with yes, you? Yes, if you're here, yeah, you'll so be engaged. So I'll go one, two. You specifically want to take the hit? Yep. Oh, because you're trying to stop me from entering? I can walk past you. Yep. I'll take right uh, I'll take the damage. Ooh. Yep, I'll take the damage. Okay. And then I'm going to do a justice attack against uh, Robert. Robert. No, a, a Robert. Oh, you're trying to kill Robert early on. I'm not trying to kill him. You're trying to capture Robert. You're Read trying my to math, aftermath ability. Aftermath. If this attack dealt any damage to your oh. champion, capture them. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's a big deal. I know. I'm trying to do it. All that's right, why so I pay more attention to your abilities. I am going to spend three coins to make you dazed. Okay. So three of your coins are gone, and I am now dazed, which means my next defense roll will be at negative two. So I'm rolling defense on a seven plus. All right. And you're hitting on a three plus. Yep. With two dice. Yep. Okay. Two that's hits. Two hits. And I will be rolling defensively. Uh, I need seven pluses to hit. Let me see if oh my goodness! Oh, I'm very wait, wait, excited. wait, 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 wait. Before you do that, wait. I think it's worth covering my abilities in case you change. Sure. When Robert becomes dazed, you may spend two to remove that condition. I don't care. I'll still try this. I was I'm gonna, gonna try it before I'm I knew I could do Spend the two. You. Yeah, I'm gonna spend the it's two still because worth I think it to me. I think I have to defensively. So I'm yeah. gonna ignore the daze because that way. Yeah. Because I'm, you can still do it. As long as I do any damage. You can still do it. You so need two successes. I need two successes. I need two fives plus over here. I think against you can you do it. Like I mean, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. No, I can definitely do that. And I gave that. up the objective thing for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we'll spend. Uh, uh, hope for two five pluses. Oh! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use my aftermath ability to spend my silver coin, which is now permanently gone from the game, um, to capture you. Yeah. That does it. And when I come back, to, if I even kill you, I'll still come back with only one. Yep. Wow. But that was dead. the coolest thing I've ever done. I'm not dead. And that's my turn. It's now your turn. You can come at me. I feel like round one was a lot better for me. That was very cool. That was the coolest thing okay. I've ever done. <laughs> so, if I'm trying to figure out how to most efficiently take care of this, I'm going to do the following. Um, I think we're going to start with some basics over here because I want to I wanna get ahead of the game. One, two, one... Two. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and activate uh, Roos Bolton over here. We're going to put a coin down Roos Bolton. He's going to flip open this door with one action, because you can do that. That's actually going to... Sorry, Alex, why did you say that one would cost two action? Uh, because it says the little two in the corner. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this yeah, door right. is going to be... It doesn't actually flip properly, but this door is now open. So we're going to, I guess, put it like this to indicate that's open. And then I'm going to go ahead and go one, two into here. So I'm entering there, and then I'm going to grab that. And that's going to give me two victory points. So if you give me two victory points and Absolutely. one silver coin. And Wait, one. did I get a victory point for capturing you? Uh, do you get one for capturing? I don't believe so. You get one at the end of the round for the most captured people. What you should okay, have that's true, that's is true. you should have a capture icon on your character. You can only care each character true. can only capture one person. Okay. Um, although keeping the model there works too. Yeah, honestly. that's where I put you. Okay, uh, and then I'm going to move one further back out as well. Okay. And that is my turn. I've activated him. He's not doing a lot right now. He's really just trying to make sure I get that objective before you. All right. Okay, I'm going to keep my victory points in a nice little pile down here so we can all see them. To you. All right. I am now going to activate Lewin Martell, who okay. is the bravest baddie alive. And he is going to go one, two, and attack. Is that your Eddard Stark? That's Eddard Stark. Oh my, I feel kind of mean. No, go for it. All right, we're going to attack Eddard Stark, and I'm going to use uh, Honor and Duty. So I am going to spend one copper coin to gain plus one to the roll. Okay. And I am also going to spend a silver coin so that instead of rolling defense dice, uh, you must perform a rally, a, te test. a rally test, and then for, for each of the hits, and you'll suffer a damage, so you can't negate any of the damage I'm doing at all. One second. Instead of rolling dice, the tenor has four tests for each hit. They suffer one for each fail test. So the only problem with that, just to note, is my person uh, currently, usually people's rally skills is lower. In my case, it's the same. Because I, I have plus one defense, and that makes a five plus on But either, either way, you, you don't roll any defense. No, I roll so the rally. So you'll take straight damage from me. Unless I successfully defend. Oh, I see. I thought it, just it was changes. Like additional damage. No, I believe, I believe... I thought it was my damage plus the failure no, damage. That would be bad. Well, it costs you a silver coin. You only get four through the game. That's fair. I think it's usually because, like, you know, if, if you're attacking someone, usually the defense is higher. Instead of rolling dice, the defender must perform tests for each hit. They suffer negative one for each failed test. 
It is a little unclear. I hear that. Yeah. It's a little unclear. I think for one silver coin, you only get four through the game. But you're saying I, I get know. no defense? That's what I thought it was. You don't roll defense, and then you and also take damage for your failures. Feel strong. I don't know. I, I hear the confusion. Not certain. Let's roll it out at least and see because it might not even matter. What if we all fail at everything? What if I fail at hitting you? Well, we'll have to argue about it after then. Yeah. So let me even try to hit. I need a seven plus. So. Yeah. You're right. There you that go. is uh, that it doesn't, is, We're not correct. even sure, but we'll never find out. Well, no, he's still alive. Um. Okay. Would I not have had to choose to pay the silver until later, do you think? Instead of rolling defense dice, I believe that could be done after. Okay, and actually, yes. I did pay to do the extra die, so I okay. do get one more die. Which, of course, is a okay. 10, which is two hits. Right. So we have that problem. So now. then we'll keep the things the way they are. But we haven't resolved what it actually does. That's okay. true. So we're still stuck in that kind of situation. I'm fine with... Well, roll your defense, and I'm fine with the two damage. Okay. I think that makes sense. So I'm just sense. gonna roll defense. I, I think that's enough. Like, our, I guess it's true, our health is so low. That's what I'm saying. Four damage would auto-kill anybody. That's what I'm saying. Okay, then... I think that changes how that's you attack. That's true. Alright. But All right. then you just take the coin back. Because you're, not, you're spending True, a point because for nothing. it's the same. All yeah. right, got you. All right, so I'm going to roll the two this defense. This all completely makes sense now. Because that uh, zero I'm is a crit. I'm glad Yeah, it works for us. A zero crit over there is going to be a double hit, so you get the additional hit plus another one. I'm rolling on a five plus because I have the castle four steel, so my defense is a five plus. And I go ahead and get a seven and a five, so neither one of those hits. All right, well. Okay. And with that, it's going to be my turn to all hit right. back. And uh, I think Edith Stark's currently in a good place. I don't need to worry about him as much. I'm almost inclined to uh, just deal with other people right now. So you currently are a bit of a, you're in the way of it. I kind of want to hurt you. So the tricky part is I could try to charge into the door in a running charge, uh, combining the move and the attack, but I'd rather almost just deal with you before you can get to me. So we're going to do a charge. We're going to do a charging attack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and deal with the stag over here. Oh. The stag knight. Yes, what's up? He was like right there. I should have done a charging attack. What does it do? Extra Plus dice? Plus one to the rolls, which wouldn't have mattered because this is already a crit and that's a three and a two instead of a one okay, and two. Okay, sure, so, yeah. sure, great. Okay. Yes. Okay, so, um... I should remember that. Though. I think it's plus one to... Let me check if it's an extra dice. I think it's plus one to the roll. Let me just check if it's an extra dice just in case. Because a move, a charge, attack... A charge is going to be... One plus one dice. Plus right. one dice. So go so for let's it. Just roll go one for more. it. Do it, do it. Because you would roll one more, Seven. Too. So I would roll one more defense. Yep. A five plus. What is that? I don't know. You That's should re-roll it. Okay, I mean, it would be that. an eight or no, zero, no, it, so... Yeah, let's re-roll. That's an eight. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Right. Okay. So... Uh, to me, I'm going to go ahead and do a charge and attack, remember. and I'm activating, uh, we are activating the stagnant, I already put a token down, we are going to go ahead and go one, two, three over here, and to be able to attack right away and charge in the same motion. Um, are you, you attacking me or the I'm going to go here, I'm attacking you. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go there and attack you, uh, that's charging, we're doing a plus one attack over here, so we are going to go ahead and um, roll a... Oh, interesting. That's a potential problem. It is what it is. I'm rolling three dice on a six plus, and I have heirloom weapon, which means plus one. So it's going to be three dice on a five plus. Let's go ahead and roll. We got a nine, six, and five. So all of these have to be defended against. What is your current uh, defense over there? This which is Miles, and he's it's got a seven plus. Four health, which I don't like. But because... he does have a bold as brass, which is for two copper coins. Miles performs a rally test. On a success, the attacker becomes. Um, yep. Yep. The two conditions. The two conditions. Days <laughs> and. Brain. Confused. Rest staggered, I think. Um, and then I can spend Shaken. plus two to re-roll the test. So that's in addition to rolling my defense, right? Yes. All right, and you rolled three? Yep, I rolled All three right. hits, but you have to roll defense twice against him. What do you oh, mean? Oh, I, 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 sorry, I meant to spend the four coins. Am I supposed to take yes. what's worse? Yep. So I'm spending four coins over here. So, do I just re-roll all you, of that, or and, do we remember Well, those what were, they were all, what, what's your defense roll? A seven plus? So two of those are successfully defended, so you have so, to re-roll okay. those two. It's nine of four, so you have one successfully defended hit, which means you're taking two damage as of right now. Okay. Miles will take the two damage, but yep. for two coins, for two copper coins, I will perform a rally test, and we'll see what happens, but I can spend two to re-roll this test. Okay. So I'm only rolling one die, correct? Mm-hmm. All right. I got a six. That's not going to be a... How many yep. extra copper coins do I think I have this game? Let's see. Who have I not? Okay. Where's my Targaryen honor guard? It's this guy? Yep. Um. Hmm. Hmm. It's gonna be Yeah, I'll just let it go. So. Okay. I already took the damage, right? Yep. All right. So is it Tamina? Uh, I believe it's you. Okay. 
Um, I feel like I should have him attack twice back. I feel it's reasonable. I feel like that was mean. Yeah, no, I do. I think it's reasonable. All right. So, or do you have something that's going to hurt me if I attack nope, you? Nope, okay. very <laughs> You're like, hit me back, please. That was my intent. Okay. So I will attack once with bold move. So that's one double hit. Yep. Okay. And bold move is going to be a, what hits on a what? Seven, Seven plus. So you have a double hit over there, aftermath, yep. move one square, okay, so I get to go ahead and roll defensively, I'm rolling on a five plus, so I roll for each hit, and I roll a two defenses, oh nine and five. Oh my goodness. They're Just chunky, one. they don't have a ton of health, but they're good at defending yeah. themselves. All right, I'll... Chop, parry, chop, parry. I'll attempt it again. Stab, parry. And I need a seven plus, uh, I got Three a seven. seven. I will roll that one defense, and that is a wound. Can I get a wound token Yay, for Yay, finally. And how much health does he get? He's got three health. Okay. So he's down to uh, two. All right. And now I believe it's your turn. It is my turn. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do things. Are you going to so. be okay? It's my turn. going to be okay. Oh, you know what? I think... Mm -hmm. Have I not activated Barristan Selling yet? I haven't. I don't believe you have. Nope. He's over here. Yeah. No. Where is he? Oh. Oh, that's oh interesting. Him. Okay. 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 Well, okay. I'll work with that. I think what we're going to do is we're going to do the following. We're going to go ahead and... Um, we're going to move over here. So I'm going to go, because I'm going first next round, right? No. Yes. <laughs> I like that. I like that choice. Okay. I'm going to go one, two, three, but I'm charging and attacking. So. Okay. So roll for the trap first. I'm going to go ahead and activate uh, Dennis Aaron. We're going to roll for the attack. He has a six plus well, no, defense. Roll for the yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Five plus takes damage. Can I get a damage marker? I think my people are going to die. There is, a, there is a rule as far as how victory points are allotted if everyone dies before the game's over, before the six rounds. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. not looking great for the amount of uh, combat being dealt out here. But I am on that objective over there. I am going to go ahead and... Um, and you're attacking though, right? I am attacking, yes. Okay. Edder Stark cool. hasn't gone yet, which is important. Luin. So I'm attacking um, Luin, yeah, Luin. Mm -hmm. Luin Martell, let's see. And he's already got one wound, so let's see how this goes. We are doing a hours. charging, and I have three over here. I'm going to go ahead and roll three dice over here because of charging, but I'm also going to spend two coins as his ability during strike. So I'm spending four hits over here. I'm rolling four dice on a six plus against him. So let's see how we can hit over here because I'd love to take him out. We got a zero, a seven, and a nine. That's going to be four hits. Wow. Four hits against you. I could roll two zeros, right? You could roll two zeros. No, no. Uh, you don't get an extra defense on zeros. Oh. Yeah. You got okay. one defense, I got that's one. three hits, I believe. That's going to kill him. I think that's going to kill I'm him. I'm happy I moved him already. Now, the decision point I have to make is... Oh, that's true, you could capture him. Because if I don't capture you, you get a point. But also, I'm a little worried about dying. I think I'm going to kill him. I think I'm going to kill him. I have my two points. Lynn. I'd rather I'd rather just take him out. You didn't make it as long as you did him. There is an story. interesting tension point around capture versus killing in this game that is fascinating. The fact that you captured my four health guy on the first Here, hit is kind, of, it's kind of offensive. I know, I loved it. Robert Baratheon's like just out of battle. I can't even activate in this As round. deserved. Are you kidding me? Rhaegar Targaryen doing it? Are you kidding? It bothers me. It's so good. Poor Lewin. What I should have done, by the way, is Unwavering has an ability. If I spent a, if I spent an additional silver coin, I could have put that condition on up to two enemy models. Mm -hmm. And I should have done that there. I think it would have been an absolutely right move. Mm -hmm. Hindsight, I was too confident. I was too cocky. It's like, I got this. Okay, and who was that? That was Dennis Aaron. Okay, and what's his defense? Six? His defense he is has six. A defense ability. He does aftermath. He will. Uh, he can spend a uh, silver coin if he rolled a six plus on any of his defense dice. I can perform a daring strike in retaliation. So I have to spend. As, I have to spend a coin and get roll six plus. Okay. But then I hit back, and I do like hitting back. Okay. I feel like I should come up and attack. Go ahead, hit me. Hit me with your best shot. Fun little known fact, that song actually is original to the Middle Ages. It was previously played on a loot, though. Okay. I'm going to charge an attack. Mm -hmm. Okay. So one... I'm going to go... Oh, there's a wall there. Shoot. Yeah. I was going to go one, two, three, so that I can get on the thing. You, you could get on the thing, I believe. I can stay in contact with you like that. I believe so. I, can go around you. Okay, I one, don't two, recall three. there being an escape damage concept. I actually agree. All right, so I'll yeah. do that, and then attack. That was a charge attack. Yep. So I'm activating this guy. It's a little annoying though, because it means you're gonna get a victory point for it. But um, we can we can see we can see what we can do for that. And then I'm attacking with three dice okay. because I charged. Sounds good. 
All right, I need an eight plus because it's just my royal shield bearer. I did get one, one. two damage. Okay, two damage against me, and uh, that's the basic attack over there. And yep. I'll be rolling defensively as him on a f uh, six plus, six plus. Okay, so six plus to try to negate those. And if you hit me on both of those, I die, right? I don't know. I don't like that. I already have one damage. <laughs> I, I know. Can't. Well, I know you have damage, but we're good. We're oh good. wow, you're really we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, All cool. Right. Right, but at is, least I'm on that spot. This game is ton tough. All right, your turn. Okay, that was that, which means my last person to activate. You have two more left, right? You have two. No, because um, Rob has been captured. Bobby boy. <laughs> yeah. Oops. We're going to go ahead and activate our uh, Edder Stark over here. He is going to hit twice, so we do have that coming up before us. We're going to be rolling two dice <sighs> and a four plus. I will not be rolling any abilities, but I'm hitting you with a four plus, so I'm going to start with my uh, just right whacking you. We got two hits, so if you want to roll defensively on... Okay. Listen, you, you close the gap that fast, it's gonna have an issue. I know. Uh, let me see, does he give me anything? No. No. Alright, I got okay. one. One defense. Now you so do one have, damage. Does he only have one? What? Who is that? Who is that person? Who are you rolling? That's Rhaegar. Oh, perfect. Okay, cool. So, seven, I gotcha. So, one damage, right? One damage. Alright. And I will be attacking you again, I believe. Oh, God. Which feels like the right move to do. So, I'm gonna go ahead and attack again. Uh, which I guess again, I need a four plus over here. We got three hits. Can I even get three defense then? Um, I mean, if you, you roll three dice, you're gonna roll for each oh, hit true, always. True. Nope. He is unfortunately dead, which means I believe Robert Baratheon pops up. Are you gonna kill him? Um, yeah. Oh, that's a good point now. That's a good point because now I could tie. I can get the victory point. No, I'm gonna capture him. That's a good point. All right. I'm gonna capture him. Robert Baratheon is gonna pop out. With one health. And then I'm going to go ahead and, um, um, you know what, actually? Yeah, we'll have our Baratheon pop out over there. Okay. And I will take that and put this on Eddard Stark. So he's now capturing. Okay. That's that. Wait, but this... He's dead. Oh, right. so I landed... Oh, interesting. Let me just check as far as the... Oh, that would be so great. I think... That would be Does great. Does he die on the spot once I encapsulate? That would make my day. I believe when you captured, I think we're on the same place as far as what happens. Because when the character is one, nope, nope. Captured heroes. Captured heroes. Because we're trying to figure out if I drop onto spikes and die. That's what's happening right yeah. now? Yeah. Yeah, I, I thought think, we're on the same page. I feel like you do. Okay. Captured. When a model enters this square. When a model is killed, before the capture option, not actually with one left, you then... <clears throat> When a champion hero would be killed by close combat, can choose to capture. When a model with thing is killed, place their captured champion on the model square, not activate with one left. It's entering the square. Doing the end phase, but with the most captured enemies. Yeah, I believe I believe I would um, I believe I roll. So I'm gonna roll on a five plus to see if I fall into the spikes and die. So he is now captured. So he's gonna go on at its dark. He's gonna drop onto the spikes, and uh, we're gonna roll on a five plus and see what happens, which feels a little scary. That is that is hilarious. He just dropped onto the spikes and died. I think that's how it works. It could well be. So first of all, I will say, again, prototype rules, things like this, edge case, stuff like that, could all be I in question. I love it. I love it thematically speaking. I so love it. Okay, I'm so okay if you're with fine it. with it, I'm Yeah, fine no, with I'm it. fine with it. It is, and my, my hero's now dead. This card flips, which means I can't spend my coins to oh, get wait, victory points. Oh, wait, my hero, oh no, my hero is captured, right? Yeah. I, I cannot use my uh, get victory points that way. Again, uh, uncertain, some of the things back and forth, uncertain, <laughs> but uh, it is fun. It is. All right, my turn. Mm hmm? And you have no people left, right? Correct. So I should just move them both. Yeah, I should probably flip Robert. You're right. All right. So I'm going to activate my Targaryen Honor Guard okay. to charge whoever this is. Okay. That's going to be Roose Bolton. All right. And he's rolling three dice on him. And he got one success with the summon. One success. Roose Bolton's over here rolling on a five plus, And he's going to get a not success. So he takes so one damage. One damage. Can I get a damage, please? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, and then you, again, don't have anybody? Correct. All right, so I'm going to use Sir Barristan and Selmy to charge at Edward Stark. That feels reasonable. And go one, two, three. Okay, onto the spikes. I don't know. Do you think I should do that again? Well, the way you just did like that, fun. the way you just did that, you're going to get two damage. Oh, really? By trying to avoid, because you stepped on the spikes twice. Oh, okay. Is this technically grass or That's water? That's technically water. Okay, so then I'll just go one. Well, wait, where, where, where was I? Either way, I could get there within three. Because I went well, two, then, three. If so you I can go two, three. Yes, that would work. Yes, that, that works. That's smart. Yeah. Either way. All right. So I rolled for the thing, which is okay. my thing. Yes. He's got a defense of five. five. And he I'm survives safe. perfectly. And he's doing a charge attack. 
with Valerian Steel. With Valerian so Steel. Three dice on a three plus. And, well, let's see. I could either do a quick bl slash or a vicious blow. Vicious blow is harder to do, but more dice. And you'd be gonna potentially make me dazed and uh, dazed and confused, shaken and rallied, or shaken and something. I do not have five coins to spend. I think. What do you think? I I, 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 I I think the quick slash is more likely for direct damage. How much health does he have? He's at full health. Which is three. You need three. The quick slash is gonna able to do and four hits. And the Valerian hits. still gives me an automatic success, so I only need two hits. The Valerian still does not give me an automatic success; gives you plus one. To a die? Plus one to all, all your dice. So you all your dice are rolling on a three plus. I think the vicious steel, vicious blow is probably better. You have three health? Because I don't think you're likely to kill me. You have I'll, three health? Yes. And I roll on a five plus. So that means I probably will oh. stay alive. And if I'm staying alive, may as well make me uh, less capable next turn. Mm. All right, I'll try the vicious blow. That's instinctive. If you think I'm wrong, call me on the comments down below. So I need a five plus? Yeah. About this, not about, well, sorry, there we go. Six. All right, I got three. Three hits. Oh no, that five. That's yeah. Five. Yep. So uh, you got two hits. Two hits against me, and then you could spend. Um... Yeah, I'll do it. Yep. Okay, so I still roll defensively traditionally. That's gonna be that. So I'm gonna roll defensively on a six on a five plus against those hits, and I took one hit, so I can get one wound. And then for your vicious blow rally thing, so you spent a thing on that, and that's going to make me so. Do a rally test. Uh, do a rally test. With negative a... two. With negative two, so I have to roll on a seven plus. And I got an eight and a three. On a failure, they perform, I got at least one. Oh wait, why, sorry, I apologize. I should not roll two dice. I should not roll two dice. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll one dice on a seven plus. I got a nine, Jeez. so I'm fine. Yep. All right. Okay, there we go. Which means now it's, uh, do you have anyone else left to activate it? That's, that's, that's everyone. That's everyone. That's everyone. To next round. At the end of the round, we're going to do the following. I have more captured heroes, so I'm going to get an epic victory point, and we both have one objective, so we both get one victory point. And so with that, I believe- You have a one, right? I have a, oh yes, I do. So we go, I got a three, take those off, and then you go ahead and store your victory points. I should get one, right? You should get one, yeah. Or however you want to track it, okay? Sure. Cool, that is going to be that, which I'll means- I'll put mine here so people look at them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't love this. Okay. I think that it's time to run away from you. It's time All to right. run away from you. So I think I'm torn between, well, honestly, I'm torn between everywhere, but I think I'm going to start over here because currently you have, who do you have here? You have two people alive mm -hmm. and they are Barristan Selsby and Selmy. Selmy and who's the other one? Um, and the Royal Shieldbearer. Yeah. The Royal Shieldbearer is doing fine on health. Mm -hmm. So I kind of want to take both of you out, but it's going to be very hard to do. But I'm going to start with here, because I think the first thing I'm going to do, first of all, we should get all our activation points back, if you haven't already. So restock to 12 copper, if you haven't. I did. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do the first thing is, I'm going to spend, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there we go. All right, I'm going to spend three copper on this objective, the adrenaline rush, to gain one AP this turn. So he's going to have three AP to spend. And I'm going to use that to hit three times, or to try to hit three oh, times. Gosh. We are moving into the next round over here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and attack you there. I'm gonna start with attacking um, uh, Selsby is three, I don't like it. I'm gonna take out your shield bearer, or try to. Okay. So I'm gonna start with, he's the, he is my Dennis Aaron. So I'm going to roll two dice on a six plus. I will spend, oh, how much can I afford to spend? Spend it all. I feel like I should spend it all. Just like sla like slather in all directions. You know, I might do it, I might do it. Okay. I'm gonna spend it all. I'm gonna roll three dice um, on a six plus, okay? Which might be a horrible mistake. But we're gonna do that. Okay, we got an eight, six, and nine, so that's three hits against him. And he's rolling on a six plus defense, I believe. This is a regular attack? Yep. Although do you want to move your dice? Yeah, you do have a pathetic attempt as a response. I do. Yeah. So you defend one and you take the other two. So either way, he's going to die. Yeah. Can I do the after that? I believe so. Um, no, I'll save it. Okay. I think. So he's. Yeah, I'll do it. Because okay. he didn't activate. So I perform a test, and I will become shaken, which means I have to perform a morality test on a 7+, plus, which I did not fit yet. So I'm going to become shaken in what? That's this. That one. Okay. So my next roll is going to be staggered. So for my second action, he's going to be dead over here, and then I'm not going to capture. I'm going to go ahead. I think I'm dying, personally. Oh, true. Uh, we're going to go ahead and attack you over there with a regular roll. That's going to be two dice on a 6+, plus, and that's a 7-7, seven, seven, so two hits. 
okay. against him. Mm, sorry, what's that going? I apologize. I have two less to my rolls. That is zero hits. So then nothing? It's a, yeah, zero. So now that's my, that's my, this goes off now. That's Can the I still do two. an aftermath or no? Do you have to? Uh, yeah, absolutely. How much health does he have? He currently is at, um, he is that guy. He's currently has three health. Left? No, two health left. Um, I'll spend a silver to make him take a damage. Okay, if you want to pass me a damage marker. And he's down to one health left. And he's going to go ahead and attack again over here. Uh, this time, do I want to spend two plus? I'm just spending all my coins in this, but if I can, you have no defense. No, there's no point. I'm not going to, I'm just going to attack again and hope for the best. So we're going to go ahead and attack and not spend additional coins, uh, which feels, I don't know, whatever. We're going to go, okay, that's a zero and a one, so two hits. Do I roll two dice? You roll two dice. Okay. That looks like one defense. Okay, so he takes one damage. Yep. And I'm going to do the thing again to kill you. That seems reasonable. You're spending another my last copper coin. and just kills me, saving you yep. the trouble of having to do it yourself. So that did cost me silver coins, so I'm now going to okay. reveal this. Um, reveal this card if you spend all of your silver coins before your opponent to score two VP. Nice. So I will take the two VP. Which you definitely spent three. them before me. Yeah, I was doing it on purpose for that. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't mind doing these. And I okay. killed somebody. That's that. To you. He's activated. Oh, did I even spend the coin to activate him? I did not. I need to do that. Okay. Well, he's dead, too. He is dead. That's true. I've been flipping them over, yeah. so it's a little more yeah. clear. I think you were, too, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. No, but I didn't spend the coin. That's the tricky part. But I, I did now. Okay, to you. I'm going to activate Barristan Sell Me. Okay. I'm trying to decide if I should charge for that extra die or not. Where's Barristan Sell Me? He, right here with Eddard. Because can I charge and not move? So why would you attack twice instead? Because? I think attacking twice is better. <laughs> I, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Okay, fine. I, had right. the, 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 so, I went through the same process earlier and I was like, oh, that's why I wouldn't. I am going to quick slash first at our with Barristan, so okay. I'm going to put an activation on him, um, and I am going to spend five coins to roll plus two dice. Okay. So, I'm rolling one, two, three, four, and um, I need four pluses, which is really three, yep. right? Okay, I got Whoa. four successes. That's not great. Against two, against uh, Eddard. Eddard. That's not great. I have five dice, and I don't have a defensive ability, so um, we're going to have to hope for five pluses. Do you have five in your hand? I have four. He has one more. Why is there one more? I thought you said you have five dice. No, no, you will hit four hits. Four hits. Oh, you just said I, did I have say, five dice. I did say I have five dice, and I immediately realized I was wrong. No, I, I did roll four dice. Yes. Okay. You roll four hits. Four hits. All right, so we're going to go ahead and roll. That's going to be a 0, a 0, a 9, and a 9, which I acknowledge is a frustrating rule to face off against. That's okay. I can attack you again. You absolutely can. <clears throat> I won't get the extra dice, but... So you yeah. completely blocked? Complete blocked. Is, it, it could barely have been better. <laughs> um, I'm just wondering if I should... Hmm. I'm wondering what I should do. He has All two fair health. questions. Yeah. Part of me wants to move back onto the thing so that you have to move and you can only attack me once. But then that same back and forth. The question is, do you think you get I'll the get kill? I'll get victory point that way. Yeah, yeah, that's what's worth it then. I mean, how, many, how much health do you have? You have two. two health. And so I'd have to be able to kill you in one hit, which is possible, but less likely. Yeah, I think I'm going to move back to here. Okay. Sounds reasonable. And that's his turn. Okay. So then... And you go first next round, which I don't love. Okay. I think I'm going to take an interesting approach. Because this guy's down here. Roose Bolton has one wound, and he's currently alive. Oh, that's <laughs> and tricky. And he's currently alive. <laughs> that's tricky. Well, it's really tricky here, because I got lots of, lots of things I have to decide on. But I think... I think the stinks are going to let you have your one review point. <laughs> no, don't have ha, your ha, victory ha, ha, point. Yet. Don't ha ha just yet. We're gonna do the following. I'm gonna go ahead and go one, two. No, you know what? Wait, hold up. I need to do this guy first because Roose Bolton's over here, and he currently has the opportunity to hit you twice. And once you're defense over here, you currently have two health. So I think I want to kill you here. I think that makes the most sense for me. Sure. And I currently have three people to activate. I'm gonna activate Roose Bolton. Okay. I am going to go ahead and do an intimidating strikes. Each mod, anyone on short range, must perform a test. Okay, 
I am going to go ahead and attack you down here. We, we have a really interesting, like, three-pronged strategy, which is all of us all over the place. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to attack you over here. Two dice and a five plus. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and... Do I want to gain plus one? I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to attack you. Two dice and a five plus. All right. That is a zero and a zero. Oh, dear Lord. It is a little nauseating. I'm sorry. It is? Yep. Yeah, four defense. You get four, four dice. It's two. Four hits. Oh. Yep. Yeah. You got nine, three, four. It's a seven I plus. believe you're right So dead. that's one. But, um, if I block one hit, is that... But you're not engaged to for the king. Or enemy heroes. Yeah, that's reasonable. Yeah, you're right. Can I do two? I do. So strictly speaking, I, I don't believe you, I don't believe you can. I don't no. believe you can. Okay. No, the thing I was trying to remember is you could pay it again for a second activation, but it's once per activation. Okay. And would one hit be one actual hit or one yes. die? Yes. So one actual, oh, one actual hit. Yeah, so, so you would still die. Anyway. Okay. Yeah. All right. He died. Okay. And for my second action, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to move one, two, three. Go there. And then he's done. To you. All right. And who have you not activated? I have not activated Edit Stark. Oh. Actually, I haven't activated either. You activated Edward. Mm, I don't believe I did. I went first this round, right? Oh, true. Okay. So I've activated okay. three people, okay. and you okay. should activate okay. three. Okay. All right. So. I yeah okay. I'm going to activate Miles Mutin, and I'm going to have him. Go crazy. You okay. And uh, go one, two, three. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Ooh. However, I need to do it. Yeah. I know I can do it yeah. in the yeah. six. And he that has is, blocks. That is a, as much as you can possibly block. All right. Okay. Do you have four coins? Oh, you can't anyway. You can't anyway. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that puts an interesting degree of pressure on me as far as how I want to engage with this. Because I currently have the most captured heroes. I might try to play an interesting game. The current score is 3-3. Three, three. This is going to be an interesting game. All right, here's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do... Because you've activated... Everyone is able to activate now? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and activate uh, uh, St Stagnite. He's going to open the door. And then he's going to walk in, one, two, three, and gather this, which gives me two victory points and a new agenda card. So I'm going to draw a new agenda card. And, oh, well, that's not helpful. Um, and can I get two victory points? Yes. Okay. And then that was my Stagnite activating. And then what I'll are the victory it. points for? Uh, the victory, how, what did I get these for? No, just the two you just got. Uh, for the claiming that objective. When you claim these, you get two victory points cool. each. And then Eddard is going to actually uh, kind of ignore you guys and just go... Um, one, because he's crossing water, it's going to inherently, because I can choose water or spikes, I'm going to take the right. water damage, go one, two, and then one, two, over there. We're going to go run away. Run away, run away. And I believe that's going to end the round. Okay. okay. That's going to send a coin on him, and we're done. And that means at the end of the round, you're going to get two victory points, and I'll get one. All right. Get around. This going to be, yep, I get one for having the more captured heroes. You have that. And go move to round four. This is going to be intriguing. Okay, we recover all the coins, and we continue. Okay. Now, so the way it works is, if you ever concede, your opponent gets three points per victory per round left. If you ever have all your units die, your opponent gets uh, two victory points for every round left. So there's a trigger of like there's still a trigger in play, but if you've done enough things, you might be able to still win even in that situation. It's not purely about the victory points. Okay. Uh, you go first, I believe. All right. I am going to activate my... It's Miles Mutin. Mm hmm And I'm going to have him do the test. Okay. So am I rolling two dice? You roll one die on a negative two to the roll. Oh, I see. So you're going to be rolling... I thought I was saying on two successes. You're rolling for a nine plus. Okay. Which, unfortunately, did not get. Um, and that's that for him? Yep, that's both his actions. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and have Edna Stark run away so you can't get anyone captured back. We're going to go one, two, three, one, two. That's going to be both our actions. Done. Okay. Um, and then 
I will have Barris and sell me just, I'll activate him, but I'm going to have him just stay where he is. Yeah, there was an action which has been an action to just delay. That's just right. a thing. So that's that. And uh, this is going to, this is, I, I'm hoping I mapped this out correctly, but we'll see if I did. I'm just going with the lower risk approach, but I'm going to go ahead and activate my uh, stag over here and go one, two, three. And then I'm going to go ahead and activate. Ooh, actually, maybe I should go in direct conflict. He has one point on him. I was so like, do you have anywhere go, else you're getting victory points go, from? Yeah, one, two, th and then one, two. So we're going to go here with my stag. So he's going to engage with you next round. And then my roos, because you've done the math and you think you otherwise win. Well, two victory point to one victory point every round. You're going to accelerate ahead, unless I get victory points. Right. Yes, which I have. Okay. That's the thing. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and then activate him. And he's going to go one, two, and then one, two. All right. That's my people. And that's, that's literally the round. I believe right about now, um, you will go ahead and get two victory points and I'll get one. All right. I got my one. Uh, if I'm getting two, I mm -hmm. could take a five and spend the three? Yep. Okay. So you got seven you to my one? seven. Do you uh, want any kind of change? No, I just got, no, I'm fine right now. I mean, you could give me a five if you want. All right, here's the three. Okay. So we're at seven a piece right now and I go first. No, I go first. You just went first. Didn't you just go? Nope. I thought you said, and then you go first. Uh, round one, I went first. Round two, you went first. Round three, I went first. Round four, you went first. And we're currently on round five, where I go first okay. again. Okay. So the coins come back. It's going to be a little low conflict in these rounds, but this is where I'm going to try to have... Who, what's their health remaining right now? Low. Um, Barristan has two health left, and Miles has two health left. So I guess okay. not too So crazy. kind of similar either way. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and have my Astagnite activate, and he's definitely going to pay the four because I see no reason not to. We are going to step onto the uh, the banner. The question is, any reason to do one or the other? No, I guess I'll do this one over here. So I'm going to step on there. I'm going to roll to take the hit, and we're going to roll, and we got a four. So I do unfortunately take the hit, so I'm down another wound, um, but then I'm going to hit you, and I'm going to hit you with two dice over here on a six plus, and you will have to roll defensively against, uh, it's two dice on a five plus because my earlier weapon. And that's going to be one hit, so it's going to be, yeah, you have to roll against that. But I guess you're alive either way. Okay. Okay. Oop, that's sorry. That's three. So I believe you I feel bad. I hit it. That <laughs> shouldn't. Up to you. Are they, wait, are they still, are they where They're they should be? They're still in play. They're still in play. Are they where they should be? I believe so. He might have been here, but I don't know. I think so he was. I don't know if it's going to matter either way. All right. Okay. Um, so one damage? Yep. Okay. And then I will do my thing. So I'm going to spend two coins. To have to perform a rally test, yep. and on a success, you'll be messed up. I can't. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. I keep rolling there. Um, I'll spend two to reroll. Okay. Whoa! Boom. I I that is <laughs> this does this shouldn't die is not interesting. <laughs> this is upsetting me. Okay. Um. All right. That's it. Cool. And then I'm gonna go ahead and activate. Um, it's currently on round five. We have one more round to go. Um, you could still try to kill him, but it's an interesting game as far as how you want to do that. It's my turn now, right? Yeah, that that's that that's your turn now. Okay. Yep. Um hmm. I'm not sure what I wanna do. If I should have Barristan come in and attack, because that's easier. I feel like that is easier. Okay. I'm going to activate Barristan okay. and pay three to get a free action or okay. an extra action point. Yep. So then I will go here to charge yep. an attack. Yep. And I'm going to use. Hmm. I'm going to use Quick Slash. So two dice plus the one for. Running. Okay. Seven okay. zero zero. That's three hits. Yep. I'm gonna roll on a five plus, and zero five and four, and that means I'm going to be uh, unfortunately killed because I'm down to one at one health. Was it your zero two success? Oh no, not one defense. Zero is not a double success. Yeah. Okay. Only when attacking. So now he's dead. Yep. Oh, you do have the option to spend three to get extra AP. I did do oh, that. Oh, that makes sense. So he's dead. He's dead. Could I capture him instead? You can't. Oh. I will capture him, and then I'll use my third action point to move back. I'm glad you ran away. That's have, really smart that you're way over here and you can't even get in this area. I may have miscalculated on the capture. 
I don't know. <laughs> well, don't flip him over. I haven't flipped over the oh, capture. Oh, that's right. Ones. That's right. Because he's just captured. I need to do some math. So currently it's seven, seven. And you're gonna get two victory points this round and next. Mm -hmm. I should have run away with all three heroes. About like six minutes ago when I was like, let's just go ahead and charge, I should have run away with all six heroes. I mean, then I would have pivoted. So, you know, you never know. Oh boy. I know. I know. Oh boy, okay, okay. So, you have how much health left on both those people? Two on each, or one on each? One on Miles, two on Barristan. And this so is Miles? Two, one. Okay, so with that in mind... Have you not acted either of them yet? No, Okay, because it's a new round. Fortunately. Okay. And you've activated both, or one? Just You activated Barristan. both, because you, you... Okay, fine. So... Oh boy. I figured he was the weaker attacker, so I should start with yeah. Barristan. So Roose Bolton... And I wanted him to stay on that spot. I think Roose, Roose Bolton's going to activate and stay where he is. Okay. That's it. I think that... I, I don't know if I can. It doesn't make sense. I think I have to attack. Because at this point, my game's changed. At this round, you're going to get two either way this round. So I have to get two next round and hopefully claim for killing your people. So I have to change my plan. It is what it is. All right, so Roose Bolton is going to go ahead and activate and move towards you. One, two, and one, two. That's Bruce Bolton. He's done. Okay. Okay. I pass. Ah, oh, dear Lord. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have him go uh, at a start. He's going to reveal this, which is what I was planning on. He's mm -hmm. going to reveal this. Um, when a friendly soldier activates, reveal this card, and that soldier performs a move action as a free action. At the end of the game, if you have two soldiers or more in the enemy deployment zone, score two victory points. So he's not a soldier. He's a champion. So Just even, so you know. I didn't even have two soldiers. Well, I captured one of your soldiers, didn't no. I? So you can free him? I literally had no... No, I only have two soldiers. They're all champions or heroes otherwise. Well, there you go. She did the preview. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is fun. <laughs> I thought you were going to cream me and then you ran away. Well, ironically, you had me, I think. ironically, well, I couldn't have because apparently I would never would have gotten those points anyway. But I think you could have, I think you could have taken me out. So I don't disagree with you. I was going for the safe play. I know. And the safe play was not. I think you could have not... taken me out. Uh... Read the cards, boys and girls. That's what you learned for tactical decisions today. <laughs> I never had two soldiers. <laughs> I never have. Okay. I'm glad you showed me the card. Well, I just did it today at the free move that I don't get. Oh, you don't even get the beginning? No. And that soldier performs a move as a free action. Uh, so I think my best case scenario right now is <laughs> tying no. If I kill both of you next round, I think yeah. I'm fine. You gotta run up It's still kill. possible. It's just, it's not great. But I go so first go, next time? No, I go first next time. No. No, you're right, darn it. One, two. <laughs> we literally, we keep doing three, that every round. <laughs> four. Okay. And that's, that's that. Um, I think that's over. So, and now the round ends. You get two victory points. Okay. And then you start the three. round. Three. Oh, that's right. You get three. Do you, and you get one? No, no. You get three. You get two. You, the captured reserve is the most captured. Oh, and we're tied? You're tied. Okay. So I'll pull one back. Okay. Watch your nights with me. Yeah. Okay. That was going great. And at now some point. we... We stop our points. Yeah, you go first. This okay. is not... How I meant to do it, but this is here we are. The you are actually in an interesting position though, because you have to decide whether you leave your points or not. Right. It is an interesting choice. But at most, it's two. If you stay still, and I'm at nine, and you're at. The problem is, Seven. if I can kill you both, then as soon as you die, I get two points for the rounds being over. But if I can kill you both and end How the spot, uh, he has one. He he's has gonna, one health? He's going to step on the spikes and might die. That is a possibility. I might just go kill him, though. Because then you can only him, get one victory point spot. But then you would also only get one. Oh, interesting. I can only get one. And I can get a free action point, charge, and move back. Yeah. Let's try it. Yeah. All right, I'm going to activate Barristan, 
and spend three to get a free action point, and I will charge one, two. You do take a damage. I will, well, or try. Well, hit. What's my thing? Five. That's okay. a success. And then I'm charging, and you only have one health? Yes. All right. I'm going to do Vicious Blow with one, two, three, four things. Okay. Uh, maybe I should roll extra. I want uh, four for the other guy. Um, do I have, how much is it? Yeah, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, so I'm rolling four dice. Okay. That's one hit. One success. <laughs> one success. So I'm oh rolling, Lord. I mean, I'm rolling on a five plus. There's a still a chance I die. I do not die. All right. And do you do anything defensively? Uh, I do not believe I do. Now the question is, do I attack again or do I move back? You only have one health. I only have one health. I'll move back. Okay, one, you again two, roll. And roll. And you five. Success. All right. Okay. That's Barristan's turn. So, my turn. Now I have to step on the spikes. That didn't even do anything. And hopefully not die. So, I'm going to go ahead and step onto the spikes. So, I'm going to go one, two, three. And I'm going to roll to see if I die. What is it on? On a five plus. This is where the game is literally on this roll right now. Uh, <laughs> He deserves it. He deserves to set diamond spikes, though. He does. If you think about it, oh, that's okay very that. fitting. I'm okay with that, but he is he is dead. Uh, that was my turn. That was fun. That was definitely uh, fun as the word we'll use. All right, I'm going to activate Miles. Okay. And I'm going to... Let's see. Hmm. Should I run away? You can't capture another person. I don't believe I can. So at most, you could only kill him and get one victory point. If I kill him, I got... I mean, I don't think it's a way for me to win. I think the math's over at this point. I know. I'm wondering if it's just safer to run away. I hedged my uh, gambles on a card that doesn't actually reference soldiers. You know what? That does reference soldiers. doesn't reference champions. I'll try to All right. So I'm activating Miles, and I'll spend four... And I need a nine or higher okay. to get the victory point. Did that not get a it. Four. Okay. Oh, that would have been another way to close the, the gap. Yeah. All right. Well, I will go out in a desperate uh, attack. You've activated both people, right? Yes. Does he have any defensive ways to kill me? Because you have that one guy who does He something. has defense, but it won't hurt you. Okay, fine. So I'm going to go ahead and charge. Go one, two over here. We're doing a charge. I am going to go ahead and roll defensively. So to be so. fair, it would hurt your next roll. It doesn't like... The That's fine. Okay. I'm going to do a five. Let's see. We're good. We're safe on that spikes. We are going to attack <laughs> you over here and see what we can do. So I'm um, attacking against you, which is going to be, I may as well use all my coins because what do I care? Uh, We're going to go ahead and do Winter is Coming or we could do Stark Fury. Well, you can't activate anymore. So I will go ahead and I will do Winter. I'll do Stark Fury. I'm going to spend two coins. I'm going to add two to the roll. So it's going to be three dice on a two Three dice on a two plus, which seems like a pretty strong hit. That's going to be three hits. So you can go ahead and roll defensively. Wow. Oh, I'm going to go out in a vicious degree of anger. So that's that is three. No, two. So you, I believe you die, right? Uh. You had one health yeah. left. Yeah. But I could do a thing. Okay. Go ahead and do the thing, Maji. Two. Sorry. Bless you. Bless you. Um. So bolt as brass. I perform one of these. That's not a success, but I can... Oh, I don't have two more. All right. All right. So he dies. So I believe you die, and I will... Do you want to capture I will no, step into your zone. Okay. Oh, yeah, you do that. Yes. So at this point, that does mean that um, victory point-wise, we will each end the round by gaining one victory point. Okay. Which I believe, unfortunately, one puts me at one. eight to your ten. At ten. And I think that's the round. Well, and then there's end game stuff? End game stuff. Do you have end game stuff? I do. Um, I am not positive of the symbol. And then it's captured. It's at least one enemy captured. All right, so I'll spend my two to get two more VP. So I wasn't even close. My two gold coins for two more VP. So I wasn't even close. Yeah, Rhaegar is awesome. Is he the Rhaegar last? Survived. You have Rhaegar standing? No, he, my... he's in no. your, he's in Eddard Stark. He's in Eddard. A... <laughs> and then I have Eddard Stark as my last man standing, that, which that, I'm okay with. Can we just talk about, though? Yeah. Can we just talk about the story that we just wrote? Oh, there's a story here. That... Rhaegar captured Robert. Yep. Eddard comes up. Yep. Kills him. Kills Ray no, no attacks him. Rhaegar to yep. capture him. Rhaegar in the bat in the midst of it all drops, drops Robert, Robert onto spikes that kill him. Yeah. And then Eddard ends losing cornered, but 
holding on to the true yeah. king. Winter is coming. Winter, yeah. winter's, winter's chilly. Here. Winter's here. That's it. That's basically a song of ice and fire tactics, a uh, battle of the trident. This has been your playthrough from uh, from Simon Games, and mm -hmm. um, yeah, until next time, uh, make sure to check us out over on GameFront. I'll have links to everything down below. But until next time, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. I'm Professor Meg. And have a good one. Bye.